In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a base plate like this and turn it into a mills plate like this for your modular buildings and how to transfer them over like I'm going to do with the Jazz Club. If you're looking at building a city with your Lego and you want to be able to keep that modularity of your modular buildings and your mocks and everything that you put into it, then mills plates are a great way to do that. If you've never heard of mills plates or wondering what on earth it stands for, it stands for Modular Integrated Landscaping System, which essentially is a way of bringing base plates like these ones and all the other types of plates that we have together in a way that you can build on them, you can build buildings, mocks, everything like that, but still keep it portable and flexible because let's face it, building a Lego city, we're probably going to end up changing it around and wanting to shift buildings and positions, especially as we build our collections. So using this Mills plate system is a great way to do that, both for buildings and roads. Now roads, I'm gonna do another tutorial on that uh, coming up on the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video when it releases. The simplest version of a Mills plate is using it to transfer and store modular buildings on, which also strengthens them as well, which is a really great thing, rather than the flimsy base plate that we're kind of used to. This gives it real stability, which is fantastic. Mills plates are quite intensive on your parts to build with, but they are worth it when you start to build up your city. The basis of a Mills plate is putting down bricks and then topping them with plates of various sizes. Now, um, of course, if you're gonna do a 13, 32 by 32 base plate, you can use four 16 by 16s, which would sit across it pretty easily. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're actually going to use probably the most recommended one, which is a four x four plate. Now I finally got a Lego pick a brick order come in, uh, which I was waiting for months for, which was full of the parts you'll need to make this Mills plate are eight four x one Technic bricks, as well as eight three x two bricks and a whole heap of two by two bricks as well. You can use this, change this up as you go if you want to use either bigger plates or you know, if you're using four by four plates like me, these will be great. The first thing is laying down some two by two bricks in the corners and then adding the Technic bricks to the sides and then adding your three by two bricks onto the end of those. So I've started by laying down my first brick and then spacing these out two bricks at a time so that they fill in there. So this next row, you're only going to want a one stud gap between this side, but a two stud gap in between. So it will be our first one there. And these should line up pretty well with each other so that it starts to form this pattern. Now, we'll build this side and then you can replicate it on the other side. Essentially, once you've done this row, then your next row takes up a two stud gap and then it's two studs for the rest of the way until you get to the other side. A few moments later. So you start to see with this pattern that we've got, as we go to add a plate on there, each corner of the plate is supported and then the rest of the brick supports the rest of the plates. So this way we've got a really solid base for our buildings to go on. A few minutes later. So with our base fully complete and all of the filler brick put in, we'll start to tile off the entire base plate so it ends up being this nice gray sort of base plate so that we can transfer the modular building onto it. Quick tip, if you did want to have one side of, the one side of this mills plate exposed to the street, for example, you would take out these bricks along here, including the Technic pins and Technic bricks, and then just put that all as the color that you want displayed on the outside. So if this was going to be a road, then all gray would go along here. And that way you've got a nice facade putting out, but then you've got filler brick for the rest of the way. So you don't have to waste all of your good brick on filling in the inside. So I'm going to take my big bag of plates here and start just plating this down. And so now with our base plate fully completed, you can see that 
this is not wobbling at all. It's not wiggling. It's far stronger than just the plain green base plate by itself. This is not flexible at all. So you can actually pick a modular building up on one hand with this. So it is much, much stronger. And now what I'm going to show you is how to take a modular building. So I'll take the Lego Jazz Club and transfer it over onto a mills plate. So let's bring in a modular. This is the Lego Jazz Club. And the first thing that we've got to do is take all of this frontage and the, and the things on ground level and transfer them over to the base. Now, the easiest way to do that is to simply take off the first couple of layers. And if you've got anything sticking out like this, then you can take that off as well. And then you can start to pull off things that don't need to be there. So in this case, this front section of the Jazz Club doesn't need to be there. And there's a few details in the tiles and everything underneath. So there's also a street lamp, a couple of chairs, and this table. Now, because we've got pretty much everything off there that didn't need to be there, looking at the bottom of this, there's a lot of tile work, and it was pretty painstaking to try and do, but there's a lot of tile work built into here that we need to transfer over to this base plate. Now, there's nothing on the back, which is good, so I don't need to really worry about the alleyway too much. The thing that I'm also going to do is change these tiles from dark bluish gray to light gray, because that's how I want my roads to be set up. So the first thing to do is take your modular and flip it on its head. Now this can sometimes be a little bit tricky, but then you start to just peel off the layers. And I usually start in the corners to just peel these back until the majority of the building comes off fairly unscathed, hopefully. And just like that, it's come off relatively well, actually. Now with this, I'm actually going to leave it upside down uh, because I don't want to kind of throw myself out of whack too much. And then fortunately, this base plate and this gray base plate are both light bluish gray. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter too much because everything's tiled off. If there is a dark bluish gray interior with studs that shine through from the base plate or come through from the base plate, then you might want to change the plate color on your mills plate as well. So because this is a huge amount of tiles, I'm going to just take this bit by bit, um, in which case I'm going to start with the front of the building and the front of the um, pathway here, because that way, <laughs> It's pretty much done. This is a fairly slow process, just especially if you've got a lot of tiles like I do. So I'm going to show you a sweet, sweet tiling time lapse. Our base plate transferred over and all of the tiles painstakingly moved across. Uh, this is what is left, a former base plate, as you can see, quite wobbly, um, as we're kind of used to as LEGO fans now, but this one, it's solid as a rock. So I'm going to reattach the building. Fingers crossed all of this should be in the right places. So I'll grab our first floor that we carefully took off earlier and I'll flip it back over. Now in theory, all of this should line up perfectly. And as Jim Carrey would say, yeah, and there we go. It's all back into place. Last thing to do is just add the modular back on top. And now I'll give you an example of how much stronger this is. This is holding the jazz club with one hand. And that's literally it. It's so much stronger 
than it was with one base plate. It's easy to move. I don't have to be as precious with it, but now that it's easy to move, I can adjust this, add other modulars to the uh, left, right, in front, the road plates, um, and on the back, I'm actually going to tile all of this off in dark bluish gray. Um, and then it, theoretically, when another modular comes, I'll have another mills plate that will line the back of this. And then that will be done in dark bluish gray. So it starts to create a little bit of an alleyway and it's kind of like a nicely done alleyway, not just a few random studs at the back of a modular building, uh, which looks quite ugly. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to put these mills plates together and transfer your modular buildings across. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, you know what to do. It's YouTube. Um, and make sure that when you do subscribe, you hit that little bell icon because I do have more tutorials coming, more mocks, and with more mocks means more stop motion. So all of that will be coming very soon.